today, and the feature today in our puppet show is the Paper Bag Princess featuring me. <laughs> I hope you like it. I hope you like my acting. And then there'll also be some of your other friends from the pond and a special guest. Ooh, a scary special guest. Without further ado, let's go ahead with our puppet show, The Paper Bag Princess. I have adapted this from the Robert Munch story. I hope you like my adaptation. Starring me, of course. I have not seen Elizabeth here. Oh, I'm really dying to meet Elizabeth. I really like her. She's a wonderful princess. She always has the best dresses and the best hair. I wonder if she's coming by for me to see her today. Well, hello, Ronald. How are you? I am very fine, thank you, Elizabeth. Well, you look very fine yourself in your beautiful princely costume and your beautiful crown all shining up gold and everything. And you look very beautiful in your spotty, sparkly dress and also your beautiful, beautiful veil and princess hat. Well, thank you, Ronald. But I have other good qualities too, you know. I'm not just a snappy dresser. <laughs> Ronald, what's that? Oh, oh no, I just saw a dragon flying by. And, oh my dear, the castle is under attack. Oh, let's hide, let's hide here. castle and now I'm headed to the woods. <laughs> There's hardly any of those trees left. I fired them all up with my fiery breath. Look at that. Oh, I have caused such destruction today and I got myself a prince in the going. I'm going to carry that little prince right back to my Cave. No one will dare come to my cave. Here I go.
Did I hear a knock? Goodness gracious. What are you doing here, little girl? I do not have time for you. I have just fired up an entire forest, two entire forests and a castle, and I've gotten myself a nice prince as well. <laughs> I do not have time for little girls and their conversations. Oh, oh I'm sorry, but, but, I must come here and rescue Ronald. Why did you take my Ronald? <laughs> well, that's what dragons do. Then we expect someone to come and rescue them, but it never happens because I am too clever. Oh, you are very clever. Why, yes, I am. How clever are you? then? Well, you ask me a question and I will see if I'll do the task for you. All right then. Is it true that you can fire up ten forests just with a couple of your nasty fiery dragon breaths? Yes, it is. Let me just reach down and get what I need, and then you will see my fiery breath. Oh, I'm going to stand back. It's not going to be good. It's not going to be good. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Ooh. Ooh. There's my fiery breath. Ha ha. that little girl. I am sure of it. Oh no! Oh no! That was very well done, I must say. I had to stand back in there. I did not want to get the fiery breath on me. Oh, my fiery breath. Ooh, it's going all the time. Okay, I have another question for you. Ask away. Okay, is it true that you can fly? <coughs> Pardon, what's going on? I'm a little bit tired, but I'll be up for the next challenge. Just ask me. Is it true that you can fly around the world 10 times and not even be tired? Yes, it is. I can show you that. <laughs> I'm going back here. I'll never be able to see you way up there. Goodness. First time round the world. Second time round the world. Third time round the world, even with my fiery breath still intact. Fifth time around the world. <coughs> I think it's number six, but I've lost count. Another time. Let me see if I can make it seven. Couldn't it be <coughs> very tired. And now what about eight times around the world? And nine, maybe nine, I'm not sure. Maybe, oh, 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 that is all that I can do. Have 
to say for yourself now, Mr. Dragon? I don't really know if you did do ten times around the world. <coughs> All he can do is call. <laughs> now is my time to rescue Ronald. Ronald, are you back there? Yes, I am. I would love it if you rescued me. Oh, goodness. Let's just put the dragon down here. Oh, he is heavy. Ronald, Ronald, where are you? Ronald, come on out. You can come out of hiding now. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, but look at you. You have a paper bag on. Oh, and you're very messed up. You're your veil is in your face and you don't look very good. Ronald, I just rescued you. I'm a heroine. Let me tell you, that was a difficult task. I thought about how to do it and I finally did it. So paper bag or no, Ronald, I'm a pretty good princess. Let me tell you that. And even though you have a beautiful costume, look, your crown is still intact. Goodness, nothing happened to you. You are still a bun. I'm away from here. Bye-bye. Uh-oh. I don't think that was very good. Yes, I know she was wearing a paper bag, but... She was still the greatest princess I have known. Oh, poor me.